it's Marine of Make to Worship Canada and Philippines. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you some basic flagging techniques that will help you start off in your worship flagging. This is basically for beginners, but if you're an advanced flag minister, you are very welcome to watch this video. All the terms that I'll be using are based on our dance and flag ministry manual. So if you're ready, let's get started. First thing that you should know are the five key directions in flag movement. Work your flags by imagining a big square right in front of you. So here is our left diagonal front, left diagonal back, right diagonal back, and right diagonal front. And the last one is the center front. Number two is your feet position. So it's either you're going to start with the first position or second position. First position, right and left foot are close together, feet apart. That is our second position. Number three is you should know how to hold your flag. How to hold the flag is an important basic step in flagging. The way you hold the flag can affect the flexibility of your wrist. There are two ways to hold the flag. The first one is handshake grip. Handshake grip is holding the flag like shaking a person's hand with the thumb and the forefinger aligning or facing each other and allow a space from the three other fingers. This will provide extra power to swing or move the flags. The second way to hold the flag is the twisted grip. This is when you hold the flag with your wrist twisted outward or away from your body. This is used when you execute an advanced technique, which is called the backward X. The first basic technique that you should know in worship flagging is the wrist movement. Inward rotation is the movement of rotating the forearm into a palm down position and moving the flag towards the body. Outward rotation is the movement of rotating the forearm into a palm up position while moving the flag away from the body. Rotate your wrist going toward your body outward when you rotate your wrist away from your body. Okay, so if you notice while you're doing an inward and outward rotation, you're forming a horizontal figure of eight. Outward, away from your body, inward, and outward. Inward, and outward. In twisted grip, the movement is reversed. You start with the forearm in an outward rotation and move the flag towards the body. And rotate the forearm inward to move the flags away from your body. The second basic technique that you should know and master is the small eight and the big eight. Small eight is simply moving the flag inward to outward with a minimal bending of the elbow. The big eight is moving the flag inward to outward with a full bending of the elbow. The flag passes through all the four key directions, right diagonal front to the left diagonal back, left diagonal front to the right diagonal back. To disentangle your flags while spinning or flagging, you should know how to do the clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. Clockwise rotation is when you rotate the arm following the direction of the clock which is going to the right side. Counterclockwise on the other hand is rotating the arm in the opposite direction of the clockwise rotation which is rotating the arm towards the left side. The 
The last basic technique in this video is the up and down flip. This is moving the flag at the center front with a sudden up and down movement. You can flip downwards and rotate upward or you can flip upwards and rotate downward. Inward and outward and flip. One flag, one, two, inward, outward rotation, bring the flag at the back and flip. Okay, let's try the left hand. Inward rotation, outward rotation, and then bring at the back and flip. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you and I were made to worship. God bless you.